has revealed to the bees. Take dwellings for yourselves in the mountains and in the trees and in the hives that people construct for you. Then eat of every fruit you desire and go through the pathways of your Lord made easy for you. Verses 68, 69, chapter 16. Your Lord has revealed to the bees, take, then eat, and go through. This is a divine calling for the bees in the Arabic feminine singular mode. But of course there are drones in the bee kingdom, absolutely. But their numbers do not exceed 200 among 40,000 to 80,000 female workers over a period of one given year. A drone's only job is to mate with the queen bee. The queen's body is the largest among her subjects. She lays about 1,500 eggs per day and about a million eggs throughout a lifetime. Who runs the show? Females. Bee workers are sterile females which keep doing virtually everything. Having located the most suitable spots in trees, mountains, and man-made shelters, female workers build the colony in hexagonal shapes, saving on space to build the maximum number of nurseries and then look after the larva. They are the flower spotters over tens of kilometers, sucking nectar and pollinating. Female workers do the cleaning and ventilating of the colony. They are the servers and gatekeepers against intruders. Philosophers and pre-entomology researchers have always held the assumption that beehives are governed by a king. It wasn't until 1737 when Dutch entomologist Jan Swammerdam published his groundbreaking discovery. The beehive is a colony of females ruled by a queen. This is a scientific finding indicated in these two Quranic verses preceding Swamardam by about 1100 years. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said among many descriptions attributed to the Quran that it is a book that doesn't wear out, a book of imperishable wonders. A book of imperishable wonders. <laughs>